Hello guys, this is Dr. Hazama. Today we are going to learn about the uh, specific topic uh, that is somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system. Let's uh, uh, start. First, nervous system is divided into two parts. First one is the central nervous system, which comprises of uh, brain and spinal cord. And second is the peripheral nervous system, which consists of motor and sensory nerves. Again, motor nerves are divided uh, into two um, branches. <coughs> First one is the nervous, uh, somatic nervous system, and the second one is the autonomic nervous system, which uh, again divide into the sympathetic, parasympathetic, and entric nervous system. So, uh, what is the autonomic nervous system? Autonomic nervous system is the subdivision uh, of the peripheral nervous system. You, you can see the uh, autonomic nervous system is the subdivision of peripheral nervous system, uh, which uh, will uh, regulate the body activities uh, generally not under conscious control, means that uh, involuntary uh, in nature. Or visceral body function it will uh, control these things now uh, autonomic nervous system is composed of uh, different neurons that will innovate which type of muscles smooth muscles uh, cardiac muscles and vasculatures and exocrine glands it will be uh, control the neurons which are which will control the cardiac output blood flow and glandular secretion autonomic nervous system now uh, again is divided into two parts parasympathetic and sympathetic division parasympathetic means uh, it maintains the condition under the rest and digest condition whereas sympathetic uh, um, under the condition of fight, flight, or fright mode. Different motors means that they carry uh, impulses from a brain and a spinal cord to a specific muscle or an, uh, any organ. Whereas the afferent sensory nerves, which uh, carries the sensory information from the organs to the CNS, means central nervous system. Introduction to uh, afferent neurons. Afferent means motor neuron. They will carry message from the CNS higher level uh, sensory areas to the muscles or any other gland. From CNS to a factor organ by two types of afferent neurons. First one is the preganglionic neurons and their cell body is uh, located in CNS. Means that uh, uh, First one, uh, if we talk about the different motor neurons, then uh, the from the uh, CNS, the exon will arise from the cell body, which will uh, be the body of preganglionic neuron. Then preganglionic fibers will uh, arise, will be going on to the ganglion. This portion is called the preganglionic nerve fibers. Emerge in the brainstem or spinal cord and makes a synaptic connection in the ganglia. As you, uh, it will emerge from the spinal cord and attach to the ganglia. This interval between this portion is called the preganglionic fiber. The ganglion, this is the ganglion will be function as the relay station between a preganglionic neuron and second a second neuron will be uh, next which will be called as postganglionic neuron again the postganglionic neuron has a cell body which will uh, originate in the ganglia again this will have the cell body of second neuron uh, which will be called as the postganglionic fiber the postganglion neuron has again. I have defined that. 
Now introduction to these somatic motor neurons. Uh, these neurons will control the movement of our skeletal muscles. So it means that they are uh, voluntary nature. Somatic efferent neurons are involved in the voluntary control of the function such as the contraction of a skeletal muscle. All the uh, skeletal muscles are uh, innervated by this type of neuron, somatic ne motor neurons. Input from the sense organs and output to the skeletal muscle. Again, this is the sensory neuron. This is the motor neuron. Sensory is uh, receiving a uh, sensation from the skin. Uh, any type of uh, stimulus is applied on the skin, then these information will be carried out by the sensory neuron to the CNS. Again, uh, so uh, further action will be taken by the CNS and the information will be transmitted by a motor neurons to the skeletal muscle whether to contract or to relax. Again, uh, autonomic and somatic nervous system uh, so uh, on the basis of uh, neurons uh, autonomic motor system has two types of motor neurons first one is the preganglionic neuron second is the postganglionic neuron conduction is slower due to thinly or uh, unmyelinated axons means that uh, they are thin and most probably the postganglionic neuron will be unmyelinated in all condition mostly in all condition Whereas the somatic motor system, one type of motor neuron which will extend from the CNS to the skeletal, you can see here it is extending from the CNS to uh, skeletal muscle. This is one type of uh, somatic motor. Whereas in autonomic, there are two types of uh, neuron, motor neurons. First one is the preganglionic, which will arise from the CNS to the uh, ganglion. And second is the postganglionic neuron, which arise from the ganglion to the uh, any effector organ. Now, sympathetic nervous system, uh, which is also called as the thoracic lumbar system, because the, all its neurons are in the lateral horn of gray matter from thoracic rear one to uh, lumbar second vertebrae. Spinal segment. These are the spinal segments in which uh, the uh, neurons uh, arise, which will uh, work under the sympathetic nervous system, which are located in the lateral horn of gray matter. Preganglionic neurons of the sympathetic system come from thoracic and lumbar, from T1 to L2 uh, spinal segment. They synapse in the cord like. Two core like chains of ganglia which will run parallel. Preganglionic neurons are most mostly short, whereas the postganglionic neurons are long in sympathetic. Axons of the postganglionic neurons will extend from the ganglion to the uh, tissue where it will innervate and regulate its uh, functioning. Adrenal medulla largest synaptic ganglion which uh, receive only preganglionic fibers from the sympathetic it doesn't have any postganglionic fibers because there's a large synaptic ganglion it will not need any postganglionic fibers whereas uh, the internal medulla and uh, response to these stimulus secretes epinephrine which is also called as the adrenal Lesser amount of uh, norepinephrine into the blood. Again, uh, uh, here uh, there are three types uh, shown here. First is the thoracic sympathetic, thoracic sympathetic again on the basis of their neurotransmitter secreted. So uh, this is the preganglionic fibers coming, which will secrete acetylcholine here in the ganglionic part. Again, from here, the postganglionic fibers will start running out from the ganglion to the effector organ. 
uh, it will uh, mostly secret norepinephrine uh, in adrenal medulla the case is a bit different uh, like uh, it has the preganglionic fibers uh, which will uh, secrete again acetylcholine at the junction but uh, there is no postganglionic fibers because this is a large ganglion so uh, again it will uh, secret norepinephrine and epinephrine to regulate blood pressure whereas in the lumbar we can see that again it will secret acetylcholine by the uh, post preganglionic uh, nerve fibers again this is the postganglionic which will again secret the norepinephrine whereas in cranial and sacral parasympathetic only acetylcholine matters only at the uh, junction between the uh, preganglionic fibers and ganglion acetylcholine here and here again uh, at the junction between the neuromuscular junction for example uh, both will uh, secrete acetylcholine whereas in sympathetic the case is different like uh, they will secrete uh, epinephrine or epinephrine this is the uh, somatic nervous system in which uh, just one type of uh, motor neuron you can see here whereas in uh, autonomic nervous system sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, b are a bit different like i already told you that they all will secret acetylcholine between uh, the ganglion and uh, preganglionic fibers but uh, things are a little bit changed when uh, at the neuromuscular junction or any other uh, tissue organ role of sympathetic division means that uh, sympathetic division is uh, like a fight or flight system it's like a, a dog is running behind you or what will be your condition you can imagine that it involves e activities like uh, exercise in exercise condition this uh, this has main role excitement you are excited about your result that you got a plus you got excited you are going to give a treat to your friends an emergency situation like uh, you got uh, you you got uh, uh, into an accident for example then you will imagine what will be happen embarrassment these are these activities are included in our sympathetic division it promotes adjustment during exercise means that uh, blood flow to the organs is reduced flow to the muscle is increased means uh, uh, it will uh, bypass the blood from low need to high need tissue it is uh, its activity is illustrated by a person who is threatened uh, his heart rate will increase breathing will be rapidly his skin will be uh, cold sweaty people's uh, dilate you can imagine so a uh, sy sympathetic division of the ans you can say, see that uh, from t1 to l2 spinal segment uh, all the sympathetic divisions arise from this region so you can see that uh, it is innervating the lacrimal gland nasal mucosa blood vessels uh, erector ply muscles salivary glands heart these are including our sympathetic division role of the adrenal medulla in the sympathetic division what is the role of adrenal medulla it produces adrenaline which is also called as an epinephrine which is produced by the medulla of the adrenal gland they are located on the top of the kidney here you can see uh, this is the uh, adrenal gland which is located at the top of the kidney the sympathetic nervous system will stimulate the adrenal gland to, uh, to release 
adrenaline and noradrenaline into the blood stream what is adrenaline is it is a modified amino acid hormone uh, man, uh, which is uh, which has recept it is a tissue having receptors or cardiac and skeletal muscles mainly epinephrine increase the heart rate like you are running uh, it will increase your blood pressure uh, which will provide more oxygen to the working muscles it also increase the blood sugar levels like uh, your body needs much more oxygen yeah without it uh, you will just feel dizziness you will uh, remain you will go unconscious role of parasympathetic division what is the role so uh, parasympathetic division uh, concerned with the keeping body energy use low like uh, uh, body will uh, use the condition in which your body will use much less energy it involves d activities like uh, in uh, Sympathetic it involves E activities like exercise, excitement, but uh, in the case of personal D activities like digestion, when you are uh, eating food, you are relaxed. Digestion, non defecation, like you are uh, in the toilet, uh, and diuresis. Its activity is illustrated in a person who relaxes after a meal. What do you uh, feel uh, when you? Uh, eat your burger favorite meal your yeah. low blood pressure heart rate is low respiratory rates are low gastrointestinal take activities will be high like they have to uh, digest the food the skin will be warm and peoples are constricted parasympathetic neurons they are working in condition like uh, we are having rice, we are uh, eating something. Allow the, allow the body to function and rest and digest. Preganglionic fibers arise from the cranium, rise from the cranium. Which one? Oculomotor, facial nerve, a glossopharyngeal, and vagus nerve. These pre the preganglionic fibers arises from these neurons and the sacral region of the spinal cord where you can see S2, S4 this region cranial outflow third one cranial, cranial nerve number 3 is ocular motor nerve which will cause your pupils to construct whereas Facial nerve will uh, cause two tears to come out and it, it will cause the nasal mucus to be secreted from your nasal cavity. Glossopharyngeal nerve will uh, cause the parotid salivary gland to produce more saliva, like you are eating something and uh, saliva is digesting your meat. Vagus nerve, uh, visceral organs of thorax and abdomen similar digestive glands just like our pancreas increase motility of smooth muscle of digestive tract like uh, we have to digest our food so the motility of our digestive tract should be high so this is done by our parasympathetic neurons uh, there will be decreased heart rate and causes a bronchial constriction because uh, uh, we don't want any oxy uh, oxygen uh, uh, toxicity in our body. Sacral outflow from S2 to S4 spinal region from a pelvic splanchnic nerves, which will innervate the organs of pelvis and lower abdomen, like your rectum, these types of regions. Supply second half of the largest intestine.
means that it will innovate the larger instrument to increase their motility 